What is going on, everybody? It's Stu here, and welcome to Atrax 1. Encounter 2 of the Deep Stone Crypt Raid, and me doing my absolute damn best to try and explain it to everybody, because this, I still say, is one of the hardest encounters to do in the raid, and this is the one that gave people more trouble on day one. So, first things first, bottom of the screen, you'll notice Operator and Scanner are live. It's going to work in a similar but different way to the first encounter. Um, teams are going to be split up into threes. There'll be three downstairs where I am, and three will go into space. Shortly after the encounter starts, pods will come down to the back of the room, or the front of the room, depending on your perspective, um, and three people go up to space. Scanner's job is quite simple. Pretty much the same as it was in the first encounter. Identify which of the Atrax copies is the real one to do damage to. And then pass the buff up and down, depending on where you are. Um, same way it works the same way as it did in the last encounter. Uh, like I say, Scanner normally uh, spawns upstairs first. So they will have first DPS. Ignore the fact that I'm about to get slammed into a wall like that. Um, so scanner spawns upstairs, operator spawns downstairs. Uh, scanner's job is the same, is to identify the copy, which we'll show you very, very shortly. Picking up the scanner, which has been sent down by the lovely people up top. And then, as you can see, the guy in the middle there is glowing yellow. So we damage. Lament is highly recommended for this encounter just because of its damage. But where we are now is where the pods spawn, and will be. Uh, there's a lot of passing of the scanner. I am a cardinal sinner for forgetting to put the scanner back in the machine. Um, operator's job is, I'd say, a little bit more complicated, but not much. Basically, once we, I don't know whether you noticed it, once we damaged the copy of Atrax, you dropped the little purple ball. That is a debuff called Replication. Uh, and it comes with a timer, I think, I believe around 30 seconds. You probably get another better shot of it here once we do DPS to this guy. Um, and as with the most debuffs, like the likes of Greed and stuff like that, if that timer runs down you die if nobody picks up the debuff off the floor as you can see it was above uh, my teammate's head there it's team wipe so someone has to pick that up after every time we do damage to a copy uh operator's job is to cleanse the people that have been debuffed and the way they do that is in space upstairs like I said, unfortunately i don't have any footage of space or much footage of space, because I played downstairs scanner in this run. Um, there are four airlocks, I believe. Top right, bottom right, top left, bottom left. Um, and the way we get rid of the debuff is we have to jettison it in space. And how to do that is once the guys have got the debuff and they're ready to get, it, uh, get rid of it, uh, operator will open an airlock door the people with the debuffs will go in and the operator has the ability to shoot the debuff off people this is also really good for half if you need to wait a little bit and reset your timer so if your timer gets down to 10 seconds call out for the operator to shoot it off you he'll shoot it off you it'll drop to the floor turn around pick it up rinse and repeat um servitors are the usual they will stop things being passed up but they also have a sort of little hidden uh, mechanic in that the damage phase will not start until all servitors are down uh, the three servitors on each floor three up space three downstairs one left one middle one right um i think that's pretty much it one thing to note uh, if you look at Atrax's health bar at the bottom center of the screen above the word scanner, you will notice there is a little section towards the end of his health bar. Once enough damage is done to get to that little section at the end, everybody goes in space. That's everybody. Anybody left downstairs goes up. Uh, 
in the space, and it starts what what, what I'm classing as last stand. When you get up there, you will notice there are eight copies of Atrax up there. So all eight copies of Atrax are up there. Um, you will still you will if you're downstairs. I'm pretty sure you do still see them down here. Yeah, there's you see the debuff there getting picked up. Always got to dump that scanner. Once you've done the damage, you've got to dump that scanner. And even if you're going up space, dump the scanner in. It gives them more time to paint out, point out the one that we do damage to. Yeah, there's still copies downstairs, but it, you'll see when we go up in space. This is where the jet, uh, the pods are. Keynote. It's also operator's job to send the pods down. Outside of each pod, there is a little panel like there was in the first encounter. Uh, the operator has to shoot to send the pods downstairs. Now, I apologize for the absolute clusterfuck that is the uh, this next bit here. Because I don't even know why I chose this run to put in the video. But it was just funny. Everyone was just getting slammed everywhere. Every time we tried rezzing. For some reason it wouldn't res there. Then back into bubble. Then we found out where the, where the one was doing. We had to go and do damage. Oh, it was a mess. <laughs> but it was funny. And that's pretty much it. It it's all a timing thing. And make sure everybody knows what they're doing. And, and stuff like that. Make sure the debuff people keep an eye on the debuffs. Make sure the scanner is always sent back up. So it's a there's a lot going on, which is probably why it's one of and don't get me wrong, A tracks can be a little buggy, so it's probably one of the hardest encounters to do. Um this is a kind of dual video as well, a dual video as well because we're gonna go and do the spacewalk. Now the spacewalk is great, and I do recommend people when they're actually doing it in the game. If you can listen to the music that's playing in the background, is the Deep Stone Lullaby. It's one of the greatest pieces of music Destiny has ever come out with. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. It's just a rinse and repeat thing again. Server does spawn. So recap: Operator Scanner. Operator is in charge of controlling the debuffs and jetting, just jettisoning them out in space. Scanner is in charge of telling people which copy of Atrax to damage. Servitors will come out, which, you, as you, as in the first encounter, will stop any passing of the debuff, but as a hidden thing, will also stop the start of damage phase. Um, damage phase will not start until that final servitor goes down which will give teams plenty of time to make it uh, make any adjustments and get themselves ready and get themselves into position where they can see all of the copies. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll show you the spacewalk as well because there is... It's, it's, it's not a hidden chest. The people call it a hidden chest. It's not a hidden chest. There is a second chest here like... There is in the first Sparrow Racing bit where you can get to Spose of Conquest and anything that you've already unlocked. Um, I can't remember whether I actually managed to get this through this without dying because I suck at jumping. Uh, but I think, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Atrax encounter itself. Um, I say quick summary. Do I need to do a quick summary? Possibly, maybe. Um... It's not complicated. It's just... It can be a pain in the ass sometimes and a little buggy, if anything. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm trying to make... I'm trying to go through it in my head to make sure I've covered everybody. Operator does the debuffs and stuff like that. Scanner identifies. Buff needs to be passed after each damage phase between upstairs and downstairs. Buff needs to be cleansed. Debuff needs to be cleansed. We usually wait till... We usually get three copies done before we end up getting rid of debuffs. So... The first guy upstairs will be constantly getting the debuff shot off him by the operator. Uh, then we'll do damage downstairs. Um, then once the guy goes upstairs with his debuff, uh, they'll try and do damage again. 
uh, just so we don't use too many room, too many, too many airlocks. Um, so they'll try and do three. We'll try and do three copies before we cleanse the debuff. But that's the key thing: is just keep your eye on your debuff time and make sure whoever is not scanner picks up the picks up the ball. The only time that doesn't apply is if you are scanner upstairs. If you are scanner upstairs, you will need to pick up a debuff. You'll be the second one that picks it up. But I think that's pretty much it. And this is spacewalk, which pretty much, once you get to the end of this, there'll be a lo there'll be a couple of brigs, and um, a few ads to clear out, and then you make your way over to Encounter Three, which we'll cover in the next video. I really hope this explanation hasn't been I haven't overcomplicated thing with my really bad explanations. I hope you find this helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you do. Let me know in the comment section if I've just compl I've missed anything. Let me know if you want me to redo the video up in with a view from up in space. But yeah, this is uh, this is spacewalk. This is the last part. And as you walk through here, two brigs, load of ads, clear them out. Once everybody gets up here, you make your way to the third encounter. Like I say, we'll go through that in the next video. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Like I say, I do hope this has helped. Uh, like I say, I'm not the greatest at explaining things. But this is the first time I've ever done anything like this where I explain raid encounters for that reason. Um, but yeah, as usual, a like and a subscribe on the video would be greatly appreciated. And we'll catch you guys for encounter three thank you for watching everybody take it easy